in first peter peter by the holy spirit is encouraging the believers to resist them because he knows that when you stand your ground the devil must flee because the enemy he knows your he knows that he doesn't have authority over you all right so now understanding that truth you can stand in authority against the plans of the enemy in your marriage if you find some negative things in your marriage you can stand against them the beauty of marriage is that even the problems and the wickedness and the pain that is go your your husband or your wife is going through you have right and authority to resist the enemy over them why because you and your husband you and your wife you are one so the first prayer the first prayer point i cancel every plan of the enemy to separate my wife and i in the name of jesus right so you are standing and you are saying in the name of jesus that's why i'm doing this now if you are the wife you switch that and say i cancel every plan of the enemy the devil or satan to separate me and my husband in the name of jesus now the the key of this is to teach you the process these are not just prayer points that are powerful they are also examples so when you know them you can pray them you can pray them so for example if your um wife is telling you uh, i don't think we're meant to get be together i think this is a mistake this marriage is over and um i i think i'm going to just go ahead and get a divorce now when you you don't say that uh, to her there then that there's a process remember the strategy don't just jump in to the wrong strategy but in your prayer time and as you're praying with us right now you can go ahead and say i cancel every plan of the enemy to break my marriage to destroy that which the lord has done for me and my wife in the name of jesus so you're learning the process so prayer number two i destroy so this time around you're not just canceling you're destroying i destroy every attempt of the devil or satan to disconnect me or my wife from our heavenly father in jesus name or in the name of jesus i destroy every attempt of the devil to disconnect me or my wife from our heavenly father why is this prayer point so important because this is your source god almighty is your source you need to get instructions from him you need to get wisdom from him you need to get direction you need to get uh sustenance life grace favor from him and an and overwhelming sense of his support you need all of that you need peace and, and so when the enemy wants to destroy anyone, he must separate them first from God because he can't touch you when you are connected properly with God. And so he must come with sin, must come with fear, he must come with distractions, he must come with disobedience. And, and if you do not fall into any of those, he cannot touch you. This is why you must pray this prayer. So important. I destroy every attempt of the devil to disconnect me or my wife or my husband depending on who's praying from our heavenly father in the name of jesus that's the second prayer point let's go to the third one now i reject lies unfaithfulness addictions and all other works of the flesh in our home in the name of jesus i reject lies i reject unfaithfulness i reject addictions and all other works of the flesh in our home in the name of jesus you can pray like that but i encourage you to pray even more specifically if what you're discovering in your home is moodiness i reject moodiness in our home if what you are discovering in your home is lack of trust i reject lack of trust in our home what you're doing is you are standing on the ground of what christ has done and you are saying no you're resisting now when you resist the devil has to flee but usually the devil will going to contend to see if you understand and if you believe what you have said number four i cancel the effects of every negative words spoken against me and my wife in the name of jesus 
this is so important negative words are spiritual words words are spirit <laughs> they they do a lot of damage in the heart when they're negative and uh, and it's important that you cancel the effects and reject them uh, maybe you've spoken about divorce you've spoken about pain you've spoken about that you're going to kill me all those negative words that you've spoken you want to cancel the effects over you and over your marriage over your children you cancel them you cancel them you're standing in the name of jesus number five i uproot every seed of sin and division planted by satan against my marriage in the name of jesus so important the seeds so many seeds either words thoughts your, your and thoughts are very very subtle the enemy knows how to inject those thoughts it, it's possible that there are other things that has happened in the past in your wife and in your life that the enemy is using as seeds to break your marriage you may not even realize them you're going to pray and cover the ground so by saying i uproot every seed of sin so things you've done and the vision may be from outside and from you planted by this by satan against my marriage in the name of jesus prayer number six in the name of jesus no plan of the enemy to use my past or my wife's past against our marriage shall prosper you're speaking the way Jesus will speak. You know, I, I shared this story with you in Mark's Gospel, chapter 11, when Jesus says, no one will eat from this tree ever. So it's, a, it's, a, it's a different way of speaking. It's the same way you're saying, no evil, right? No plan of the enemy to use my past or my wife's past against our marriage shall prosper in the name of Jesus. Powerful prayer points. And use it, use it. Use that method to pray. Whenever you discover a thing that could happen or your thought that comes to your mind, you're going to say, none of this will, pl will work in my life. No attempt of the enemy to cause me to be afraid or to accuse my wife or to be to distrust my wife will prosper in the name of Jesus. You create those prayer points like that. Now, prayer point number seven. Prayer point number seven. I say no to every suggestion of the enemy to me about my wife in the name of Jesus. Of course, if you're the wife brain, you just flip that and say about my husband. I say no. Saying no means I disagree. Saying no means I resist, I reject, I do not permit. The enemy is always trying to, to trick you. There are tricks, tricks, because he cannot, he cannot over, he cannot force or try to do things to you without passing through Christ. And he knows that Christ will never, Jesus Christ will never give him the permission to, to harm you. So what does he do? He must trick you to go against the Lord Jesus so that he can then hurt you. So that's why you have to say no to every suggestion of the enemy. Now, what are those suggestions? Your wife doesn't disrespect, doesn't respect you. Your wife doesn't care about you. Your wife doesn't know anything about what you're going through. Your wife doesn't love the Lord. She's not even saved. Your wife is colluding with everything that the enemy wants to do in your home. Those are things that the enemy can use to destroy your marriage. So you're going to say, I say no to every suggestion of the enemy to me about my wife. And in the name of Jesus. Prayer point number eight. Prayer point number eight. I cancel every plan of Satan to use me or my wife to sabotage our marriage and our ministry in the name of Jesus. Remember Peter. Peter was so committed to, God, to Jesus, but the enemy tried to use him to sabotage God's plans. You are not going to die. Don't say that. That's what Peter was saying to Jesus. And Jesus says, get it behind me, Satan. <laughs> because he was not Peter speaking. Was Satan trying to use him? He can use any one of us. He can use you. He can use your spouse. This is why you must read that prayer. I cancel every plan of Satan to use me or my wife to sabotage our marriage and our ministry 
in the name of Jesus. Your marriage is your first is the first step in your ministry. The enemy manages to destroy that portion of your ministry. He really limits your ministry a great deal. But it doesn't end. It's true. Your marriage can be destroyed and yet you can restore and continue your ministry. But you are working on a weak, much weaker pull up from a much weaker position. You want to always fight for your marriage so that both of you can work together to get even more impact in your ministry. Number nine, I reject spiritual weakness in our home in the name of Jesus. I reject spiritual weakness. What is spiritual weakness? Spiritual weakness is when you are not alert to hear what God is saying, you're not aware of what God is doing, you're just coasting along and attending meetings. That's a very weak believer. And if you're, if you're a believer who doesn't read the word of God, you cannot know how to hear God. If your believer is not praying and fasting, you are a weak believer. You're weak, weak, weak. You cannot fight because you're not, you don't have the strength and the stamina to fight. So I reject spiritual weakness in our home in the name of Jesus. Of course, when you talk of your home, you're talking about yourself, in yourself, in your wife, in your children. I declare that as a family, we will be totally surrendered to the Holy Spirit. I declare. So, so I've changed it now. The last, the next portions you you see that we're not only resisting the enemy but also making declaration in the name of jesus so warfare is not only saying no it's also saying yes to so what god has already said yes to it's it's like a prayer of faith uh, and and uh, of course warfare is, it, is faith it's based on faith it's not based on you it's based on faith in god number 10 i have one more so today i'm going to give you 10 plus one which is 11. I reject every form of spiritual barrenness in Jesus' name for me and my family. I reject every form of spiritual barrenness in the name of Jesus for me and for my family. What does that mean? That means you will be fruitful. You will be fruitful. You're going to go ahead and, and declare, my wife and I will be will bear much fruit as individuals and as a team in Jesus' name. You're not only saying no to spiritual barrenness, you're also saying yes to spiritual fruitfulness for you as individuals and for you as a team. And that brings me to the last portion. And remember, everything we're doing is in line with what God wants. So the last point, the last one I had, I, I just really wanted to add this so that you will learn that you can go on and on to 20, 30 prayer points. It doesn't matter as long as you are operating in the spirit of it. In the name of Jesus, we will have more love, joy, peace, and laughter in our home always. So we're st standing on what God wants. I, I hope you've been praying these prayer points. And I hope you've been learning how to pray with boldness, with confidence. Now, when you have this confidence, what the only thing that is necessary and needed right now is then a strategy, how to move from step one to step nine or step 10 to get the results that you're looking for. I'm so glad that you're part of this community. Every person subscribed to my channel, I know you are a blessing to yourself, to your marriage, and to the people around you. So if you're not subscribed, please do subscribe, share the videos, be a blessing, and yes, ask me your questions. If you have not downloaded my one-page Friendship Rebuilding Cheat Sheet, then you need to do that right away. It's a one-page document that you can just glance at and it will teach you everything you need to know in just one page to rebuild friendship. I want to give that to you for free. All you have to do is go to adesobanjo.com slash friends. You give me your email, I will send it your way. And of course you will get my email too. Then you can respond and ask me your questions. I'm so grateful to God that you are part of this family. You're watching this video today. And I pray that as you continue, that you will continue to learn to love like Jesus and make mega impact.
Bye for now.